In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how Drini one, runs one of the best offenses in Madden 21, and at the same time, keeping it very, very simple. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, basically what my channel is about is we are designed to try to help you get better at Madden 21. Now, we do that through a lot of different ways, through different tips and strategies, both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So if you're looking to get better at this game, learn from me or learn from the pros, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Now, one of the things that I'm doing is going through a lot of the pro players and kind of breaking down what they do, why they do it, maybe some concepts, some things, some nuggets that we can tease out of their systems. And Drini is one of my favorite Madden players to study. This guy is a defensive player through and through, plays great defense, keeps it very simple on offense, and even though he keeps it very simple on offense, it's actually very, very effective. So I want to be going over a little mini scheme that he has today for us out of the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Now, we're going to go ahead and jump over here into game. And before we get into the tips portion, I did want to let you know that I do have a basically a membership for you that's completely free to sign up for. And all it is is simply a text message membership. Literally, all you have to do to sign up for this membership is simply text me. My cell phone number is 812 216 three six four four it's in the top left hand corner of your screen so be sure to hit me up via text message and let's jump into this okay so first and foremost wolfman in this game was running a lot of nickel three through five and nickel three through five in my opinion is one of the best basic pass defenses in the entire game because it gets really really good personnel on the field it's also able to be able to audible down into three through five wide it's why i wrote an entire ebook on this specific defense because I believe it's that powerful. If you want to pick it up, the link is in the description. But anyway, what we're going to simply do here is kind of set up some basic coverages and just talk through really two or three plays that I thought Drini ran at a really, really high level. The first play that we're going to talk to, and this is a gun bunch based offense. You can also audible into the gun bunch tight end, which is one of the best offenses as we're starting to find out. We're gaining more and more popularity. The first play we're going to be talking about is clear out SEL. It's one of the best plays in Madden. The next play we're going to be talking about is the play read option. Then we're going to be talking about the play bunch trail. And the last play that we're going to cover today is the play mesh post. Now, we'll just come out and really any play that we want. In my opinion, the bench pivot is actually a really, really effective uh, play. But we're going to simply start with the mesh post. Now, as a general rule, one of the things that you would like to do when you're running this bunch offset or this bunch offense is you would definitely like to make sure that you are running your bunch to the wide side of the field. Now, with Drini and his personnel, one of the things that you'll notice is in his lineup, he had a basically different route chemistry so he could put different routes on the field. Pretty much put skinny posts wherever you wanted to or things like that with slot apprentice and tight end apprentice and all of that. But really one of the things that I wanted to highlight was how he ran this clear out SE out play. Uh, and in particular, um, specifically against like press man to man coverage. Now the beauty of this play is you have this fade route right here to your outside wide receiver, Antonio Brown. And all we're simply gonna do is we're gonna take Chris Godwin and we're gonna put him on a post route or a crossing route, either one is up to you. And then we're going to take Gronk and simply put him on an out route. And if they run man-to-man -man coverage, you're going to see that this tight end out route is absolutely critically important. So one of the big takeaways I got from watching Drini play was actually how effective these tight end out routes really truly are in this year's game. So very simple. It's just a simple out route to the tight end. That's it. There's nothing else to it. There's nothing complicated about it. It's the most simple thing in the world. But it's the most it's one of the most effective things because here's the deal let's say that they run some type of man-to-man -man coverage right and what we'll do to sh kind of help this a little bit is i'm going to pinch these outside linemen in just to get myself a little bit better spacing and what you'll notice is when this gets a free release off the outside it's dark it's very very good against the man-to-man -man coverage it's also good um in situations where you know they might do something like shade coverage outside shade coverage over top because what that's going to do is it's going to continue to get that that uh, out route to the tight end. A nice little 
simple release to the outside. And as you can see, you can still air truck right up the field. If you have a better tight end in that position, that's going to be really, really effective. Now, the other thing that I want to talk about is not only is that effective um, as far as it pertains to, you know, different types of man coverage, it's actually just as effective against zone coverage. This is what you'll find a common theme when you watch pro players play. One of the things they do a really good job about is always having something on the field to be able to beat man and always having something on the field to, that will also be able to beat zone coverage. And as you can see right there, it does a good job against zone coverage. It actually does a great job. I mean, it pretty much zone coverage is not going to be the answer for this in this particular type of offense you're going to see that this is going to do really really well if they're if they're playing hard flats on the outside the beauty of this tight and out route is you can simply pass lead it to the outside that's i mean you literally and i know it sounds you know not like very much but you can simply pass lead that thing low ball it if they're if they're playing hard flats and that's a great little tool to have you know let's say they're playing something like tampa 2 and you come out and run this setup as well, what you're going to notice is, again, that low ball to the tight end. It's a very consistent read. It's a very effective read as well. Now, what we haven't talked about is actually the beautiful routes on the outsides on both sides, which are these stock outside releasing fade routes. Now, what you'll notice is that typically these routes will get a nice outside release and if they get over the man-to-man -man coverage you can actually throw this now a lot of a lot of defenses lately are wanting to run basically cover one and then user over the middle of the field with something like this right here so they're playing cover one on one side and then basically cover zero on the other side well what's nice about this play clear clear out sel is these outside fade routes are going to do a really good job if they're playing some type of press man-to-man -man coverage these outside double move fades are going to get a, do a good job of getting over the top the one thing you got to make sure that you do is you do want to make sure that you check and see that the safety is out of the way if the safety is not out of the way you know then that's something that you have to monitor right but if the safety is out of the way and they're playing just a basic cover one something like this you'll notice that on both sides of the field if they get over the top of these, these are just amazing routes, and they're very, very, very good. It's really the one reason I think you run Seattle's bunch. Um, it's one of the major ones, in my opinion. So that's clear out SEL. And again, if you have, um, if you have the 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 route chemistries to be able to create different routes, you can create a simple play like this right here. And you'll notice that this slot route will get open against man-to-man -man coverage. Those post routes to the slot receivers, I can't tell you enough how good they are against both man and zone coverage. And most of the time, it is true, most of the time when you run that in particular setup, they're going to use her the, the, uh, the post route. All right, Almost always they're going to use her. But if they don't, it's wide open read for you. You have two, re two little stock out routes, you know, the, the out route to the tight end, and you have... Um, those stock fades. Now what's really nice is let's say that they're running some type of cover two on you. A lot of people like to run cover two against bunch. You'll notice that you can basically outside pass lead these, especially if you have gunslinger, and they're going to do a really, really, really good job at getting separation. Now the next play we're going to go over is this read option. And the reason I want to talk about this is this is one of the best, if not the best runs from the shotgun bunch. And the reason why it's such a good run is is because it's really really hard to use or a lot of people would audible down um, and try to stop it with this right here but you notice it's really hard to shoot it it's really hard to use it you'll be able to consistently average about three to five yards um, per play with this run fairly religiously I mean it's it's almost like clockwork um, you know you really do have oftentimes a lot uh, and I mean a lot of success running this and the reason why is because it's super so i mean again you just get this nice little lane most of the time if you have a mobile quarterback you're going to keep them and make it to where they have to option defense conservative so that because they have to use that option defensive tactic and put that on conservative you're going to see that that's going to open up a lot of things uh for your offense so this read option right here is very tough to defend and um you know so you can use that as you see fit now the next play that I want to go over is the play, uh, or, and one other little tactic here with read option, 
is the ability to flip the play and quick snap out of bunch. Um, it's one of the really great features of this formation. But basically all you're going to do is you're going to flip the read option, as you see right here. And then you're just going to spam snap it. And the reason why is because it's going to make it harder for your opponent to set up their under center run defense. Okay? Makes it very, very hard. Another simple route combination that you'd see Drini go to a lot is this right here. This little basically putting a slot on a corner route and putting Mike Evans on a drag. Um, this is very, very good, especially against cover three. If they're running a lot of cover three on you, you'll notice that this does a great job at beating it. It doesn't always beat it. It does depend on where they're at, um, and it does depend on where you're at in terms of like hash marks and things like that. But if they're in the right, if, if, if you call this, and they are in the, the wrong type of cover three, you're going to have a lot of success because that corner route is going to get taken over the outside, and typically you're going to have this route to Antonio Brown. Sometimes you won't, but a lot of times you will. Uh, you, you will be able to get this over the top. Now, really quickly before we go on to the last play, I do want to highlight just briefly um, my – text message membership one more time we actually have a full gun bunch offensive um kind of mini scheme not mini scheme but full scheme out of carolina which is very similar to this so if you want to get that full gun bunch we take about an hour and break down everything there is to know about gun bunch and what you can do from it so if you want to pick up that gun bunch all you got to do is text me my number is 812-216-3644 so Anyways, you have this clear out play, and there's a lot of things that you can do with it. I won't bore you with all of the different things, but I just want you to be mindful of this and be aware that there's a lot of things that you can do with this specific setup. Now, the last setup that I want to talk about is the setup from Mesh Post. I think Mesh Post is one of the best plays the entire game. And the way Drini set it up actually was relatively simple. But he put the tight end. He loves the tight end out route. Loves the tight end out route. So he has that tight end out route. And then what he did was he basically put Mike Evans on an out route as well. So if it's zone, he's going to look left. If it's man, he's going to look right. And again, you have that tight end out route. And then you also have that slant route. And you have that route to the post against man-to-man -man coverage. But against zone coverage, and this is where I thought this was just absolutely genius uh, from Drini, just genius concept right here. Um, it's super, super simple. But what you'll notice is against zone, the running back is almost always open because you have that out route and that seam wheel coming right in behind it. So very small sample size from Drini. Didn't see a lot of reps on his offense, but these were some of the major plays that I felt like were really, really popular and really, really effective in his game plan. So this is how Drini runs the best gun bunch offense in Madden 21. If you have any questions about what you saw, go ahead and hit me up via text message. Also, if you want to get my, my personal offense that I recommend people run, which is the New England Patriots offensive ebook, that link is in the description of this video. My opinion, it is the best offense in the game. It incorporates concepts from this video as well as several other concepts to be able to master offense. You have the gun bunch, the trips tight end, the U trips, the ace slot offset, the split close, the five wide flex, the empty base flex, and empty ace patriot as well as the ace close and some really, really good under center formations. We really believe that New England is the best offense in the entire game. So make sure to pick up that uh, offense. That link is in the description of this video. But this is how Drini runs the best gun bunch in Madden 21.